Hello and welcome to this video in which I am looking at my legendary guild manager software. Um, where did this come from? Well, I was traveling back on the train from London a few weeks ago and a guy was playing a game on his phone, uh, playing it for quite a while and then battery went flat or whatever and he put it away. And like you do, we just started talking about bits and pieces and we got onto the subject of what I did for a living, which is um, I'm involved with software development I'm on the account management side, not the actual development side. Um, and then we started to talk about the two together because he ran a guild in a game called Legendary Game of Heroes. And one of his frustrations was the lack of decent tools to enable him to manage his guild, to get better visibility of performance and who was doing what, when and the like and this started my brain working and i was thinking well you know we could do a good little application with this and i needed to build something in 1003 so i came back started to think a little bit more planned it and this is the application i've built so if you're a software developer this is what you can build in open insight in a relatively short period of time just a couple of weeks and if you're a guild leader within a game, then maybe this is a bit of software that you might be able to use. So anyway, when you first come into the software, if you don't have any um, login details, your name, guild name and serial number, you'll be prompted for them. I've got them so I can just confirm that I am the registered licensee and I can enter the application. Now it's based around this initial application entry screen, which is an MDI window when a lot of the forms will display. Uh, we can make this full screen if we want to, but I'll just leave it the way that it is right now. It's then based around players, events, recruitment, leads, and frenzy time. Now these will launch grids. So these are grids of data where you can actually view your data for all of the players or I can click a button here and I can just look at the players in my particular guild and I can see what the status is of all of those players. I can click on any player. So if I click on this one here, then it will open up the record for that particular player. And I can see some information when they joined, when they were kicked, when they left, all that sort of information, their status within the, uh, the guild as well. Um, I can also see the event history, so how they have performed in different events over time. Some general notes and also frenzy times. So when is this player most active within the game? So um, a bit strange this one, but this guy's on at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning, and then 10 11 o'clock at night. Um, this is used in a different module the Frenzy Time module, which we will come to in a moment. Uh, there's also quite a lot of um, help areas. So if I click on the main help window here, this will go to WordPress and it will actually launch up my WordPress blog where I've got a whole load of information about the Guild Manager's a big old help system in there. And also on the Frenzy Times window, if you um, know the individual's country, but you're not quite sure of their UTC time, then so long as you're hooked up to the internet, that will launch you out to this website where you can find a country. So um, for instance, Bolivia, they're four hours behind UTC. So then you can work out where to um, tick the box. So that's basically the players window. Uh, we then got events. It's the same thing, a grid. So we can look at all of the events that have gone on. I've only got nine in here. Um, this one's under underway at the moment. And on the events window, you can see the event name and the type of the event that it is. Then we have some interesting bits and pieces. We've got the average score. So this is the average that the guild has scored over all of the players. We've then got some notes and the ability to put in some art. There's some fantastic artwork in this particular game, like a lot of them. And you can capture the main pieces of artwork for the game. And you can set a default as well. And then at the bottom here, if I just make this a little bit bigger, you can set the percentage above and below the average that you want to monitor. Now, in this particular record, the figures um, aren't overly great because Cypher is monstering it. He's, he's way ahead of everybody else. So if we just open up that record, and this is a score entry record, so you put your record ID in, 
the player, the event, and then their score. Now, if I just take out the score for Cypher, and we'll just reload that record. Now you can see that the um, scores have actually been color coded based on the average score, obviously with, with Cypher removed. And you can see that Ents, Holy and Medic are all above the 25%. Irish is within the 25% parameter and the others are all below. So immediately, based on this percentage that you put in as a user, you can see who you might want to promote, uh, who's doing OK, who's not doing very well, who's not actually participating at all. And, you know, those players that you might want to put on your watch list because they're not performing very well. And it might be that they are not a team player, that they're not performing in the events, it might be that they need some help. This software will give you the ability to see how your guild is actually performing. And we'll do a paste into there and save it. There we go. Okay, so this is basically the, the events window. So no, I won't save that. We then have recruitment. Now recruitment is important when you're running a guild. You need to be letting people know that you are recruiting. And there's a number of places where you can recruit on Reddit, um, in the game, um, contacting people, all sorts of things. In here, you can very quickly add in a record to show the campaign that you're running. So on this one, this is a posting that's on Reddit. It's published by Cypher. It was successful because it resulted in two new members, which is OK. You've got a picture of the actual advertisement itself and then some notes. And you can obviously close out a campaign by ticking the box at the bottom. And as well as running recruitment campaigns, we've also got leads. Now, um, leads can either come from people within your guild saying this person might be interested you might identify them within the game so you can set up the individual in here with as little or as much information as you want so you've got the player's name their current guild their standing within the guild um, how they prefer to be contacted or how you're contacting them uh, the date that you actually contacted them initially uh, that one's in there date first contact the date that you last contacted them and the date of any planned follow-up um, then the original message that's sent and any other notes that you want to put in there and then the response back so we in this one we've obviously managed to um, persuade this person to join our guild which was rather nice so you can see immediately all of the the people that you are working on um, at the moment this isn't filtered um, I do want to have a button in here that will filter this to only show those that haven't actually joined or declined. Um, that's something for the wish list. Frenzy time. Frenzy is a time when lots of the players come together to play the game to get some big rewards and some of the uh, lower ranking weaker players can participate and benefit from the stronger players who are taking down the bosses. Um, now, a lot of the top guilds use frenzies to maximize that opportunity. So this screen has two grids. The grid at the bottom will show all of the players within your guild and it will pull the country and when those players are most active. Now, it could be simply when they're most active or you might have canvassed your guild and said, you know, when would you like to do a frenzy? It's entirely up to guild leaders on when they do that. But the software will calculate all of the check marks in here and give you a summary at the top. It will then work out the um, most um, the, the most chosen, the, the most popular, um, the time when people are most active and it will flag them up with green and red text up here so you can see it two o'clock, four o'clock, nine o'clock and 10 o'clock UTC, those are the best times to do a frenzy. And this is telling me that probably the best time to do it will be between nine and 10 o'clock UTC because we've got a two hour window of where people are very, very active. Um, so we might, as a guild leader, I might wanna call a frenzy at that time. Uh, these buttons simply launch the data entry windows 
many of which we've already looked at. Um, this one is to add a score in. So adding a score, you simply pick a player, you pick an event from a lookup, add in a score, add in a note, and then the date that they that the score was put in. You could have got a date picker as well if you want to pick a date, or just click the blue text to, to drop the date in. Uh, I'm not going to save that record. Add a recruitment campaign. So that's just adding a new recruitment campaign and adding a new lead in. All very straightforward. And then we've got a couple of other buttons here. This one is for articles that you create and publish in various places. So you might publish them on the network forum. You might publish them in a guild forum. You might publish them on your website or your blog for your guild or wherever. But this is an area where you can monitor the postings, these articles, who wrote them, when it was first published, and when it was last budget published, so you can check to make sure that the, the content is still fresh and current. We then have the ability to add system codes into the system. So for instance, uh, Legendary Game of Heroes are just about to release a new um, uh, event type. So we can go into the event type and simply come in here and add in, I think it's called Arena. Um, so if I just put Arena in there, I can change it later, save that away. And then that will then be available within the drop down combo boxes within the system. And the final button we've got is the report library. It's based around a hierarchical list box. So you can click down and on the right hand side here, you can see a summary of what that particular report will produce. And if I click double click the button, it says that it's preparing to print. Please wait launching up the Bandit Report Writer, and that will then produce a report for us. So there we go. This is our report, if I make it a little bit bigger. So this is the players report, so all of the players that are within the system. And the other one that's quite nice is the player search report, where I can report on an individual player. So the first thing it's gonna do is prompt me for a player name. So if I just put Cypher in there, and click OK. That again will launch the Bandy Report Writer based on that particular user. And then it will produce me a simple report of all of the information about that player, uh, the event history, etc. And that will bleed over to a second page once this event history starts to grow. So um, there's still quite a few reports that I need to create in the system, um, but there's a whole load of reports that will be coming and you also have the ability to launch the bandy report writer to create your own reports so this is uh, we'll launch the open insight bandy report writer and it's a very powerful bit of kit but it's fairly easy to use once you have got the hang of it and you've learned how to do it so this is the the more complicated of the reports this is the search one and you can see that we have the main part of our report and then we have a sub report, which is that event history. So anyway, that is pretty much the Legendary Guild Manager. Um, it's a piece of software that really does make managing guilds very, very, very easy. And Open Insight has made it very, very easy for me as a junior programmer or junior software developer to put that together. So it's my latest demo application for Revelation. And if you're interested in the software, give me a shout. Thanks very much for watching. See you again on another video sometime in the future. Take care. Bye bye.